Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, Look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. 
Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Forty-seven, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. Forty-seven, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al Ghazali, I bid you welcome. So she wanted one. No, oh, no, two. No, Shoot. On. This is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. The alarms you can check when you're just cringe browsing. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this Hello, is security. Sir. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon.
Okay, wait here. He'll be here shortly. Just a heads up. The package is a real ball breaker. He's been here countless times inquiring about where you were. So, don't be surprised if he's high maintenance. But I'm sure you're used to that. I am sure I can handle it. That's the right... Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant. Providence partner, okay. self-entitled and arrogant escort. little worm. He might not look like much, very high but he's done more damage Trust to the world you than you duty. can dream. You have your credentials on you? Hello, sir. Mm, let me see here. Yes, that looks good. <laughs> I like it. A cutlery expert, no less. I have no idea what that means. But your CV is very impressive. This looks perfect. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24 seven, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are of course permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, get out of here. I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he is half as good as you were. Only time will tell. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. 
Upstairs, that is the royal. So, it's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top. But you can't enter without being searched. Standard procedure. Well, that's how you think about it. And come back. You want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. I'm going Greeting, sir. If you want to pass, you need to comply to a frisk, sir. Won't take a second, sir. Right, that's it. Keep moving, please. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. How are you, sir? Good today, sir. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Please, take a seat. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. 
I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Hello, sir. Providence partner and brass balled billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. I'm sure we passed plenty of places where we could talk. I hope it's worth it. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Looking fine today, sir. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. And how are you today, sir? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim? Please, follow me. Sir. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs, but you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure.
Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Now wait. Excuse we have Ingram right where we want. Right Please make yourself 47, home. you know I'm what to do. To see the view. It's something to behold. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Either way, you have no choice. The view is quite something. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that it's not me. We got to 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. 